Hello everyone, welcome to Financial Success. Today, the stock that I am going to be talking about is a Bitcoin mining stock that I believe is very undervalued. And so please stay to the end of the video. I do have a comparison chart that shows why I think it's undervalued. And so I think that's very important. Also, before we get started, I have a couple of things. If you would like some free stocks from Webull, there is a link below and you can use that to sign up. Also, if you'd like to buy some cryptocurrencies, I do use Binance as my broker for that. And I do like it because they have a lot of the bigger coins as Bitcoin and Ethereum, and then they have a lot of smaller altcoins as well that are, not, that are not on a lot of platforms. And so if you're interested in that, please check out that as well. Also, I am not a financial advisor, so please do your own research. And so let's get into it. The stock that I'm going to be talking about today is Bitfarms, and the ticker symbol for that is BFARF, and they are an over-the-counter stock. And as you can see here, it was trading around $3.47 at close on Friday. And so I think this stock is very undervalued. And so it was up 5% Friday, but I think this will continue to go up over the next couple weeks. And so let's take a look at the company's presentation here from December. And as I mentioned, it is over the counter under that ticker symbol there. You can also buy it on the TSX exchange under BITF. And so here we can see what the company does. They own and operate one of the largest mining operations in North America and they are increasing their hash rate capacity and they are doing that by purchasing 3,000 more units that are expected to be deployed in Q1 of 2021. And so I think they are going to have those up and running at the end of February. And so let's take a look at the operational overview here. Bitfarms operates five advanced Bitcoin mining facilities in Quebec, Canada. Each mining facility is powered by low cost renewable hydro power energy. And so that makes it very efficient for them and they can save money and cost from an electrical standpoint while mining Bitcoin. Also, they do all their in-house electrical engineering themselves. They have a 100% owned subsidiary electric company. And so they can do that on their own. And they also um, are passively cooled by the Canadian climate. And so this is a very good thing since they are in Quebec, it is a cooler climate. And so a lot of the machines and devices can be cooled just from air outside rather than in a hot climate where they'll have to be cooled by fans, which would be higher electrical cost. And so that's a very big benefit for them. They can get 90% of all energy consumed goes directly to generating revenue. Then as well, they have their own repair lab and advanced command center. And so they're very self-operating. I'd also like to take a look at the hash rate here. It is the rate at which Bitcoin is mined through the machines that they have. And so they are increasing this to about 1,205. And that is pretty high compared to the other companies that will be showing in the chart here in a few minutes. So I'd also like to take a look at this. This is a very good thing. We can see here in the green that their hash rate has been growing substantially, especially as they bring more machines on board. And then in the purple here, we can see that that is their electrical usage and it has been going down. And so as that goes down and this goes up, they're having larger profit margins, which is very good. And I think that is due to the renewable hydropower energy and then bringing on more machines. And so I'd also like to take a look at this article here from February 4th. They are providing a corporate update on growth and activity. So as I mentioned, they are bringing on an additional 3,000 miners at the end of this month. And so that will have the company install 8,847 miners since June of 2020. And so they are growing very quickly and they are also adding 679 pay to hash per second. And so that gets them to that 1,205 by the end of February. They also state here that they are mining about six Bitcoins per day. And so that's a lot of revenue at the time. They were saying that is about 222,000, but I believe Bitcoin's value just under 50,000 a day. And so that would be about $300,000 of revenue every day from Bitcoin mining. And so I did read in one of the articles that the break even point for Bitcoin is about $7,500. And so they have a large amount of profit margin there, which is very good. And then they are also mentioning that they are working on a stock market listing for the US as well. And so that's very good. If they get listed on the NASDAQ or New York Stock Exchange, I think this company will grow substantially because of that as well. And so I'd like to take a look at this chart here that I created. It takes the Bitcoin mining companies and compares them. And so we are focusing on Bit Farms here and the stock price is currently $3.47. And 
and they have a market cap of about $295 million. So as we were looking at, they have a hash rate of 1205 and they have mined 535 Bitcoin in Q3 of 2020. And so I've organized all these companies by their market cap. So Bitfarms is the smallest and Mara is the largest market cap at 3.61 billion. And as we can see here, in comparison, their market cap is substantially smaller than some of these other ones. A lot of them are in the billions, but their hash rates do not always correlate with that. And so the one I'd like to compare it to now is Bit Digital, and they are trading at $24.30 with a market cap of $1.17 billion, and that is almost four times the size of Bit Farms. And so they do have a lot larger of a hash rate here. Um, they are almost double. But as you can see, they have produced about 700 Bitcoin in Q4, and Bit Farms has produced 535 Bitcoin in Q3. And so even though their hash rate's a lot different, they must be a lot more efficient or they are running the machines more than Bit Digital. And so that's a very good sign going forward, especially as they continue to grow. So I think there's a lot of potential for this company. I believe they are very undervalued compared to these other companies that are shown here. And so if you want to take a look at it, I advise that you do your own research as I am not a financial advisor. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.